Should the Bucks be worried at this point? Let's talk about it. The Bucks are now one in four since Doc took over coaching duties, and I always like to give things time before I get too hyperbolic. I mean, after all, the Clippers were like 0-6 with Harden at first, but now they're one of the best teams in the league. The difference in my opinion is that A, the Clippers turned over half their roster for that trade, and B, it was in the early going of the season. There have been plenty of teams with championship aspirations that look a little sluggish out of the gate, and that's without having sweeping roster changes. For the Bucks, yes, a coaching change is not insignificant, but a team with such lofty expectations should at least be able to hold it together until things get better. Was Adrian Griffin the answer? Maybe not, but I'm not sure the coach they hired is a significant improvement if I'm being honest. That's something that I forgot to mention about this too. Doc Rivers has been in somewhat of an advisory role for Adrian Griffin. So even though he is new, his voice and his presence is not new. The players have been familiar with him throughout this season. So the coaching change, while significant, shouldn't impact the players the way that it has, at least so far, in my estimation. Again, it's only five games and I hate to disparage a coach before they get settled, but it's hard not to be a little concerned. Also, I think Doc wasn't actually on the sideline for the first game, but this last game was especially bad. The Bucks were up double digits in the fourth quarter and managed to lose to a sub 500 team. They have Dame and Giannis on this roster and they only managed to score 13 points in the fourth quarter. Some will say this is indicative of Doc Rivers led teams and in the playoffs this cannot happen. They still got some time to figure it out but time is moving fast. If I were them I wouldn't hit the panic button just yet but best believe I'd flip that little plastic cover up. All the games that they lost during this stretch were extremely winnable and actually had the odds in their favor for a couple of them. They did lose to the Nuggets, which is expected because the Nuggets are a monster of a team, but all the other ones lack the same kind of grace. And the only reason I decided to start talking about this is not just because they lost to the Jazz, it was the way that they lost. You would think that Giannis getting elbowed in the face and the whole scuffle would set a spark under them to continue it out and close that team out because they're not going to get away with that. Not only did they not close that team out, they also let them come back and beat them by double digits. In essence, the Jazz bullied the Bucks, and the Bucks pretty much did nothing about it. I don't want to outright blame the coach because maybe what Adrian Griffin was dealing with was a lot of players who were all on different pages and he was trying to keep it together. But the lack of fight a lot of times has to do with coaching. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think they should have fired Adrian Griffin? Do you think they should have replaced him with Doc Rivers? I personally think that if Adrian Griffin lost the locker room, then yes, maybe he should have been on the way out. But I think the contingency plan should have been a little bit better. But that's it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one.